Goosebumps 2 Haunted Halloween. Now, what I have to say for this video, fun fact, I had, had to scrap two recordings for this video because they didn't turn out how I wanted them to be. So, let's get it on. So, first up, first up, we got Goosebumps Haunted Halloween. Now, what do I say about this movie? Eh, it was okay. I thought the movie had some lazy writing, and I just wanted the monsters to have more screen time. Like, other than Slappy and stuff like that. But now, but alright, here's the monster story. I really want the werewolf to have, have more screen time, including the Abominable Snowman, the Scarecrow, Prince Kelru, and pretty much the werewolf. Spoilers ahead. If you've seen that disguise scene and all the monsters fell for it, the werewolf fell for it as well. I mean, like, in the first movie, the werewolf can smell people's scent. He could have just easily known that it was them. Um, that it was our heroes, and that we could have gotten a whole great action-packed scene with the werewolf. And, and now let's go on with the new monsters that I thought were awesome. Well, we have like the sea monster. I did like the sea monster. It's pretty cool. The robot, the robot cyborg is pretty awesome. Um, uh, the blue troll thing. I don't know what that is, but if you guys have a name for it. Name in the comments below. I can't think of a name of a name. I'm a the pumpkins were pretty awesome. Like the derpy one, the one with the one with the nose stem and the sergeant, which I forgot on his name. The witches, the witches were very awesome. I loved the witches. And I'm a the headless horseman. Now the headless horseman is pretty much my mom's favorite in the movie. Like, I thought that I thought that he was gonna be the one that's kidnapping Sonny and Sarah's mom. Because, like, but then it said it's the balloon spider. And now let's go on with the monsters that I hated. Now, first up is the balloon spider. Now, even though I, that's a cool decoration, I, I hate balloons. Hearing that word or seeing that object, an object triggers the heck out of me. And I just don't want to talk about it. And, and it's filling me up with rage. And next up was the gummy bears. Now, they were supporting the heck out of the gummy bears. I mean, like, they did not have a book. There was no book with gummy bears in them. Like, none of the new monsters had a book. They were just, like, monster. They were just decorations coming to life. But the gummy bears, I thought, I also thought was stupid because, like, it's just a little piece of candy. Candy. You couldn't just choose a group of poison ivy. Like, like I know they could might be the, the like, gnomes of this movie. Movie, like, I would prefer the gnomes or the bees other than the gummy bears. But who would you guys prefer? Leave them in the comments below. And now, Walter. Now, I kind of hate Walter because I, I don't really hate Walter. I do like the actor. I do like like his roles in the movie. But I'm um, a. Uh, but here's just my problem with Walter. Walter, he, he was just an innocent man working in a drugstore called Fred's. And then he was turned into a, an ogre by Slappy, like, and then he became Slappy's, like, assistant. Assistant. I mean, like, I mean, like, that is so a shame. I mean, like, Slappy is a villain, but, yeah, but he was just an innocent man that was turned into a monster. And now let's go on with the lazy writing. Now, well, since that there has been a lot of lazy writing, in my opinion, of the movie... The lazy- let's get on with it. So Slappy wanted to have a family, which when he means that, he means something evil. But however... However... He also turns Sonny and Sarah's mom into a dummy, which was- which I thought was stupid, but... It was also creepy as well. And also, like... So, um, uh... Um, uh, like, um, uh, there was not a lot of screen time with Jack Black. I even heard that Jack Black wasn't meant to be in Hunted Halloween at all. Oh. But even though, oh, since that Jack Black was the voice of Slappy in the last movie and Arl Stein, here's a fun fact. In Hunted Halloween, Slappy is now played by a different actor, I forgot his name, but that actor played as, was, was Poe's replacement voice actor in Kung Fu Panda Legends of Awesomeness, the TV show. And I don't know why that's, that's a name for a TV show. Show I don't know, but, but I I forgot his name. Just if if you guys know his name, leave it in the comments below. Oh, I could re-edit this video, but I, I just don't want to go back, go back and do this a billion times. 
so yeah. And now we got Emma. Now, and however, the reason why Jack Black was not supposed to return as Arl Stein in this movie is because he was busy working on the house with the clock in its walls, which I thought was pretty good. You guys should go see that. That, and I don't pretty much blame that movie for Jack Black not having any screen time, like not that much screen time. Time I can see why he was cut because of a, of a different movie. And now here's something else that I thought was really random and stupid. Is that at the end of the movie, Slappy actually sucks Arl Stein into a book. Well, I guess more than the monsters... Monsters, then, can, um, uh, be sucked into the books. Like, imagine if you write a book about a... Oh, it's a little brick, and then... And then it gets sucked up. Now, like... I thought it was the monsters, but however, this movie is 100% canon to the first movie, so we cannot change the past... And so, like that. And so, yeah. If you guys asked me in real life, what did I thought about this movie? Well, I give it a... He, 8 out of 10. Because, it's like, the movie was fun to watch. It was... I did enjoy it, but... But I just thought it had a little bit of lazy writing and... And some stuff that they could have gone better with the movie. Anyway, guys... I'll see you guys later. Hater Hunted Halloween 3. He would be out soon. Now, since that I said that Hunted Halloween would be an every year series. Like, the reason why I decided to make Hunted Halloween like an everywhere an every year series, just like War of the Fat Italians on SMG4. Is because I was so hyped for Hunted Halloween that it turned out to just be a lazy writing. But however, if I remade the movie and I wrote the script, it would have been a lot better. Better. And so, Haunted Halloween release, you seeing like somewhere, somewhere like maybe, maybe, or maybe I'll forget to upload it, but, but it will be, it will be uploaded probably on the 31st or earlier, but there's just one scene I gotta edit. So, well yeah guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys later.